Yes! Get it! <gasps> it dropped it. King slime time. Let's do it. Oh, what the hell? We just got a slime staff right there. Hey, yo, everyone. Welcome back to the Terraria 1.4 Summoner Master Mode playthrough. We're still here on our quest to see if this is possible. After I uploaded the first episode, people were like, no, it's impossible. We'll see sooner or later. I don't know if I ever have to. No, maybe I got to bring in the goons. That's all I can say about that. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and fight our first boss this episode. That's the plan. And I do hope I can also get more fishing done. I do want to get pylons everywhere too, because I straight up cannot access them without walking there. And I straight up can't access them without walking there. So uh, I got to set that up today. Eventually, you know how it is. These episodes are going to be a lot of me just playing off camera. And then you guys seeing the juicy bits on camera. That's how we want it, right? But yeah, I'm going to go to the dungeon today and not directly into where I die to the dungeon dungeon guardian but to the point where you know i'm underneath the dungeon underneath certain areas without dying and being able to spectate so i'm not going directly into it i'm gonna be tunneling around the outside of it and we're gonna see if we can find ourselves a way to possibly get our hands on a bewitching table i don't think it's gonna be possible obviously for obvious reasons but you never know man you never know maybe i could find a way to clip through the wall and just you know snag it real quick and just be gone i don't know we'll figure that out but the other main goal here is to fight king slime get our rematch of the eye cthulhu because he got off easy last time you know i choked that fight when i got stuck but we'll get him this time i hope i don't know and maybe we'll get our hands on some vampiric frogs i have to set up an arena at the ocean and that correlates back to having to set up pylons everywhere um so that means i need to find a stylus man i got a lot of stuff to do i should write this all down before i forget but we got some goals you know after the last episode was like five or six hours of me playing the game get everything done in that last episode it's probably gonna be the same for this episode Let, let's get it look what message popped up you feel an evil presence watching you it's round two baby it's round two that's all i can say this is what we're about to do i'm about to make the arena even longer before round two begins because honestly that was our problem was the arena was kind of small and also that my slimes and uh just didn't attack them 90 percent of the time it's all good like i really don't know what combo to rock it's the finches they they're too slow they fly around too much the slimes if they fall down here then they kind of just get fucked it's like come up here come up here man don't fall through the platform i think let's try and rock double finch see if that works and uh i don't know look see the slime keeps on falling through stop falling through let's buff up double slime it up and let's get to it i need to get the next whip oh my god stop teasing me this is just like the last fight and if the ending is just like the last fight i'm gonna be quite upset okay transforming try and get rid of all the servants as quick as possible so this is the part where it gets bad because he hits for like 40 a hit in this form so we really don't want to get hit you think i would master the movement of the eye by now hell no actually i, I feel like i have kind of mastered it it's just different situations call for different measures we're very close we have our potion coming up and he's very low i need to hit him some more but we're just not hitting him at all the summons aren't hitting him come on get get some hits in there they're getting like maybe like one hit every couple of seconds it's kind of annoying <laughs> we need more than that and the whip the whip timing is really bad okay at least we have a potion up so this this time we have a chance i might have to get my summons to fit, do them do it myself i have to literally summon my summons on them like I'm playing a mage now. It's all good. This is just this is a part of being a summoner, right? It's all good. We can take those hits. We have a whole other potion up. Oh yes, we're getting some good whips in there. My summons are actually hitting him. Just end it already. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. He was lucky he even won the first fight. But there you go. I Cthulhu's dead. We now have the beautiful dash. Ooh, and it's armored. I don't know if I'm a rock damage or a defense this run. Because you feel like you would need, you know damage for certain bosses rather than you would need defense for certain bosses we'll see we will see all right so while i was at the jungle making houses for pylons as we have a slime rain going on uh i have enough to make the snap thorn stop boom it is called the snap thorn i was just i was just assuming you know snap thorn sounded right it does four more damage wow great but what's the strike enemies to gain attack speed so i get attack speed meaning that i attack faster sweet that's a very nice to have as a summoner king slime time let's do it oh, what the hell we just got a slime staff right there are you kidding me you know how long i took to get mine all right it's all good uh let's get it let us get it boom right there king slime get him get him I'm, I'm keeping my distance for now let me drop him down here so i can pass through thank you very much excuse me he did do a lot of damage to me already which is uh not that good can we all right let's double double regular slimes and then go get them boys go get them boys you think this fight should be easier than uh the last fight 
which obviously 100% should be. But you never know. You never know. The eye, it's very easy to keep your distance against the eye. It's pretty easy to keep your distance against King Slime. But all these other slimes, they might ruin some stuff. They might ruin some stuff, especially these guys. These guys might ruin some stuff. Uh oh. Calm down. I'm bouncing off of everything. Please stop. This dude got the slime rain on top of the enemies he slimes or spawns in. Kind of annoying. All right, we're just going to do the runaway tactic. Very useful tactic as bosses where you just run in a straight line. They can't do anything. It's not like the King Slime's going to teleport to cut you off. Imagine if he did that. That would be crazy. King Slime would be a little strong if he did that. But we have two fucking slime staffs. Can you believe that? That's some good RNG. That's some good RNG. You ready for this? You know, we already got the two summons. Shit, what about three? Except for this one doesn't do damage. He's just there to look cute. I have done it. I have Pylon set up at the ocean, meaning I could teleport here back to spawn. And I could teleport from spawn to anywhere, including the jungle. And it's very nice. I'm thinking about possibly setting up a cave pylon over here maybe possibly i don't know we'll see just so i have all the areas of the world covered but the main thing is we got a pylon that brings me over here to my little blood arena blood moon arena where you know when the time comes the blood moon boom i'm gonna just sit right here fish up when i need to fish up oh got an ocean crate fish up the uh merman and bloody eye whatever the hell the thing's called and get the vampiric frog oh clownfish apparently that's the quest sure i'll take it sweet i picked up an armored inner tube i'll take it so yeah on top of me being out here and setting up the pylons for the ocean i'm also gonna be trying to see if i can dig under the dungeon over here and get my hands on a possible bewitching table i don't know i've never done this before so let's see how it works now just like the previous way before they patched it i think they patched it where you could clip into the jungle temple i'm gonna use that here to see if that does anything i don't know we'll see because i think once you get to a certain area here in the dungeon not able to break walls but you can break walls to an extent so i, I don't know Let, let's see here if this does anything i don't know i feel like the chance to find a bewitching table is still very very low we'll see well what well, i can't see anything well well would you look at that if rng hasn't blessed me a decent amount this playthrough so far then i don't know what special forces are helping me out look at this a bewitching table look how close it is to the surface too this is doable this is doable now i know once you get to a certain area in the dungeon you can't break blocks i need to flood this water out this shit's annoying and uh we're, we're gonna see what cheese i can work here maybe i can like hoik into the wall i don't know we're, we're gonna have to bring out the bugs look at my slimes look at them bounce in tandem that's beautiful but yeah let's try and figure this out this is exactly what we need oh my god i'm so happy about this all right so if this lets me still break blocks then we might be able to get some done now see once we got to a certain layer it doesn't let me break blocks is this dungeon music playing right now it is dungeon music isn't it oh we gotta be careful here okay this is the part where it's gonna get weird we gotta we gotta figure something out here can i set up the blocks like this and then does that let me clip through i don't know we'll see in a second let me clip through oh it hoiked me did you see that how it shot me up i'm slowly clipping through you saw that right look at this beautiful so here's how things are gonna go down we know where we want to go we go down here we gotta look at the map boom boom there can't we make it there before we die i'm carrying a little too much gold let me drop this off real quick but yeah we have a goal can we accomplish it i'm zooming out let's do it okay they're there immediately it's understandable i was trying to test how low i can mine this might be a little rough it really determines on the angle the dungeon guardians come in all right attempt number two dungeon guardians please come from a different angle yes yes get it yes we fucking did it oh my god he came from the perfect angle i can't believe it i can't believe it we're gonna have more than one summon early game without having to use potions this is insane we might even have three summons on the next boss we fight oh my god yes sir one finch two finch or one slime and one finch or two slimes and no finches bro look how loaded this desert mine shaft was we got a worm statue hey i might actually use that we got a squirrel statue rat statue and of course another slime statue so even if i didn't find the one that i found there was another one there's also a pressure plate right here so oh it was wired right up to the slime statue look at that it's go time everyone we got the goblin invasion Let's see how me and my boys fare against them. Maybe I should stay down here. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be hard. I don't know if it's going to be easy. I guess we'll see. I've been using a variation of whipping and dashing. Kind of sounds like I'm trying to create a new dance move, but 
that's just exactly been why what I've been doing. I've been still trying to figure out slimes or finches. The finches are obviously aerial or good for aerial targets. Uh, the slimes they can hit an aerial target every now and then, but I think I'd rather have the finches for aerial targets. But when it comes to ground units like this, I think the slimes are the go-to. All right, there we go. Goblin army has been defeated, but more importantly, Darien the Painter has arrived. Sweet. We have our first blood moon. Let's hope I can get my hands on this vampiric blood staff, frog staff, whatever. And uh, I've already killed one merman. Completely forgot to hit record. It's all good. He only dropped trauma, so it wasn't anything crazy. But we have a bunch of summons. We have a luck potion. That's that's about to wear out it's all good that's why we got multiple where are all my summons at can i get all my summons over here get all my summons over here this is a very dire situation summons you're not you're not attacking the thing i have targeted summons i'm missing one of them the summons are so stupid get over here you, there's still one fighting everything over there just kill the guy that i have marked okay make my life nice and easy all these npcs are gonna die you hate to see it but i want the i want the goodies so I think this dude could also drop the staff. Just something give me the staff. Boom, bada bing, he dropped absolutely nothing. He didn't even drop chum. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, we got a merman summon and he's about to fucking kill me. He's trapped in the box. Okay, he's no longer trapped in the box. We had a good plan until he got out of the box. Oh, I'm about to die. <laughs> can I kill a merman with no help? Let's see. We're about to find out today. At least I can walk through this house. I'm about to walk through this house and then cover up those steps. Oh, it's daytime. He's running away. He's running away. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. Oh, no. There's no way. Uh, he's gone already. Oh, my God. I hate doing the blood moon. It's just it's too much chaos going on. The drop rate is 2.22%. Now I got to wait for another year for one to spawn in. Blood moon round two. Three. Two. No, yeah, two. Let's see, will I actually fish up the creature that I am looking for? I made the box bigger, and you may be wondering, Gamers, why are you not using the one you had set up in the ocean? That one did not trigger like a blood water, you know what I mean? The water wasn't bloody like this, it was still just regular ocean color. So I didn't know if I could fish it up or not. So I came over here, new plan, we're fishing it up. So believe it or not, I got these two blood moons back to back, which is actually kind of surprising. I just slept into the slept in the bed until nighttime came. I'll take it. It's not a far gap between each blood moon. You know, I'll 100% take it. I should probably put on this bait thing, god damn. Why can't that happen when I'm fighting enemies? So you know what makes fighting this guy so annoying is the fact that he does so much damage and he's so hard to fish. Can my summons like stay down there? Stay stuck on him. Let me see if I can like finesse him here. I don't know, does he jump? We'll see in a second if he jumps or not. I don't know, he isn't really moving so far. This is a pretty good strategy though. I just made this up on the spot. Seems to be working well. My summons are not helping. Yeah, kill the Drifler, I guess that's helping. Let's try a Finch. Will a Finch stay on him right here? Yeah, get him, Finch. Oh, the Finch is actually hitting him. Too mad my Finch is only doing one damage a hit. I may be a genius coming up with this new strat on the spot. I don't know. I feel like I've seen it somewhere. So that's why I did it. It just felt familiar. We didn't get anything, even with the Luck Potion active. You hate to see it. This staff should have a higher drop rate, at least 25%, because this is stupid. A lot of people are probably just thinking that I should skip it. Ow, he can jump really high. A lot of people are probably just thinking I should skip this staff. Yeah, I probably should, but I want to show off everything. And you know, this is a part of everything, including Old One's Army. We'll do that eventually too. And I just, I just want the staff. I've never gotten it before. I don't think I've gotten a single thing from the Blood Moon, but the uh, Chum Buckets and the Fishing Rod. So please let me get this. This, the, the staff looks really cool, or the summons look really cool. And I really want to have them on my team. They're nice ground units. A uh, little bit better than the slimes, and I kind of want them. I think they're better than the slimes. I don't know. Thank you for not giving it to me, though. I. All right, we got one to spawn in. How do I attack them when they're stuck down here? I really wish my slimes would get in there and attack them. Maybe if I... Oh, shit, he coming. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Come on, man, drop it. Drop it. Oh, my God, he just dropped more chug. <laughs> we got an eyeball to summon in. I think the eyeball. I'm actually not sure. I'm pretty sure it does drop the staff. I'm wasting all my luck potions. You know how long it took me to get all these luck potions? It's super rare to catch, or, well, it's not rare to catch an oyster, but it's rare to catch an oyster that drops pearls. And I used my black pearl one already. I even, I used up all my, almost all my white pearl ones. You hate to see it. Absolutely nothing. I'm used to it at this point. Oh, it dropped it. 
It dropped it. Vampire frog staff, baby. Oh my god. I was just sitting here in silence because um, there's no way this is gonna drop it. It dropped it. I should have been more hyped. I should have been hyping it up. We finally get to see the vampire frog staff in action. Look at it. It's beautiful. Look at them. They're poking them with their tongues. All right. Well, that's all I wanted. You can have everything else. I don't care about the damn trough. I got what I wanted. That's all that matters, baby. This is a good episode. This is a good episode. I think we might have to end this episode off very, very soon just because we accomplished so much, you know? It may not seem like a lot on camera. But believe me, off camera, I've been grinding this whole time. I'm going to end the episode off here in this really cool looking biome. This Xenon Moss. I don't know if that's what it's called. I, it's something like that. But this really cool Moss biome. And next episode, we're going to make some crazy progress next episode. That's the plan. Uh, I'm talking Eater of Worlds because we have corruption eater worlds i'm talking probably queen bean skeletron and then the old one's army i'm trying not to get the imp staff yet but we'll, we'll see what happens so far i've been doing pretty good on keeping on progression and getting every single every single thing offered to the summoner but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video hey if you want to support the channel with a little bit of extra consider becoming a channel member you get a bunch of couple of extra perks you get to talk with me about video ideas in the future you get a cool little badge and some special emotes next to your name when you comment and chat i'll see, I'll see you all next time bye bye, -bye.